what's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Osiris New Dawn. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we did some exploratory stuff and ended up running across the that giant thingy-mobber, which was terrifying. And I titled it a whole lot of nope, because that's exactly what it was. Um, ironically, we don't seem to have any more missions that didn't open anything else up, so I'm guessing that's not... That's that's as far as they've gotten with the story quest line type thing. Um, so, my next step that I'd really like to work towards is getting um, some vehicles so that we can travel around the planet a bit faster, particularly the hovercrafts. Uh, but for that we need um, a lab, and for that we need circuits and stuff that we can't do. Uh, actually, where is the lab? Here it is. Um, so we need circuit boards and wires and stuff that we can't do without the fabrication fabricator thingy. And in order to get that, we need more science. I have unlocked this one um, before the episode because I was at 9. I just dug up some sand and got the extra skill point I needed. And good grief! Are you done yet? Okay. Um, so... What is this? Is this chlorine? No, not space debris. Not the big guys are in front of you. Chlorine. There we go. Um, okay. So what I'm thinking is I was trying to gather up. Um, actually, is there anything I can use that stuff for, like chlorine and things? Um, chlorine and hydrogen which is hydrochloric acid, liquid used for crafting more advanced items. See, I don't have like the fabrication in the chem lab and stuff like that, which is probably what this stuff is used for. I imagine you use this to make the chemicals, and then you would use... That's computers. Where is it? There's one in here that's a chem lab. Chemistry tables. Um, chemistry tables can combine and make use of any chemical ingredients. So this is making chemicals. And there's some things, like the boosts and stuff, that use them. Or at least I think they use them. One of them does, doesn't it? Ah, no, that's tree sap. I really thought one of these used... Oh, I guess not. So, maybe this is purely... Um, kind of like make the chemicals and stuff. And I did make the waste collecting thing, but it has to go X amount of time. So, we can't really utilize all of the sand and stuff that we have... Um, in order to make soil. That's going to be chlorine or something else. There's an oxygen geyser over here that I would like to grab. Um, why did I level up? Oh, I have six points, by the way. That's cool. Don't really know how that happened. Um, but so yeah, I'm kind of thinking my focus is going to be trying to get the fabrication thing to put in our new base over here. Plus, gathering stuff seems to do a lot for science. I rest my case. That's almost a full stat point um, just for one barrel of oxygen. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ish in total. I might have a couple back. I think I grabbed them all, but I think we have eleven. Um, so with that, we need a, th a, I guess, twice as many hydrogens as we have oxygens if we're gonna just keep making water, which I might as well. I don't really have any other use for the stuff at the moment. Um, so if we did, like, hmm, all right, I'm, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to start with three oxygen. And if we have three oxygen and six hydrogen, that would give us nine total. And if we added another three, that would be, oh, that would be 12. So I'm one barrel off from doing four oxygen, is my guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. 
So we'll stick with the three oxygen and we'll do... Since hydrogen is further away from us, I think the closest one is over here. Somewhere. Actually, we'll go ahead and put that away. I think it's over in here somewhere. Like right there. I'm pretty sure that's the closest hydrogen that we have. One of these is something else like uh, nitrogen or something like that, so I'm not really sure. I think this one's hydrogen, though. I think it's over on this side. On Yeah, on the other side... <coughs> excuse me, on the other side is the, ni is the nitrogen one. But still, though, um, it gives you roughly about... I don't know, it was something like 82 per thing per uh per drum so and by comparison to sand it's way faster to just like basically stockpile a bunch of hydrogen and oxygen make a bunch of water if you need to drink it and then just go repeat that that's a way better way to grind science than sand if you don't have this many barrels or something like that i mean i got a lot of them from just doing missions and and finding them. Um, so that put us at seven. How many do we need? Fourteen? Fourteen. Okay. Now, the, the thing I'm not sure about is if crafting... Wait a minute. What is that one? Is that just a... That looks... That must be where we just came from. Alright, so there's an oxygen one. That is... Nitrogen. I, can't, I really have a hard time between hydrogen and nitrogen. The only thing I can tell is hydrogen looks a bit darker. Like a bit more of a... A pewter goldish. Whereas this is a bit more of like a tan kind of thing. Oh, I just realized something. Hold up. Hold up. Requires gas container. I wonder if you can do that now. You used to have to have it equipped. I wonder if you can do that now without that. Because that would be interesting. And then that's chlorine. The green one is chlorine. I think. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this one over here was the oxygen one. It kind of looks green from here, though. That's really weird. It is, but it has the... See, that's the only thing. Is with the lighting and stuff in the... See, there it's blue. And then from, like, this angle, it, you can actually see it turn to, like, this cyan green color. Um, that's the only thing, is with the lighting the way that it is in the game, I think that's part of why it makes it hard to tell what's what. Is because it kind of changes based on the light angle and stuff like that, so from a distance and things, it doesn't always look right. Alright. So, now the one thing I'm not sure about is if you can basically oversaturate as far as it doesn't look like you can actually. Oh, I could empty out though. Okay, now that's interesting. So I can just empty them. Oh, okay. Well, that's... An I was thinking you had to drink it all. But if you're already topped off... Um, okay, let's just make as many as it'll make. And it's, oh, it's restricting it based on the, the water that we have. The, the, the glass containers that we have. Um, so that gave us engineering. It doesn't give us any science points, but still. Uh, that's actually still pretty good, though, because it'll give us engineer points as well as science points by getting this stuff. So what is, what is this? Glass and steel? I don't really want to waste the steel. If it was just glass, it's, I mean, glass is virtually free. So for now, we're just going to empty these out. And basically do that again. And I'm just going to kind of keep doing this, I think. Um, until I have the science points that I need. Um, and when I have the science points that I need, then uh, we'll come back and we'll do, hopefully, our... It, it, at least build our fabricator, if not get to the con the um, the construction lab and all that stuff. I at least want to be able to access it and, and work towards it with the materials and stuff like that. 
Um, but let me kind of go about doing this for a minute. Um, and then we'll go from there. So here's a fun thing. Um, I was out here gathering more hydrogen and I ran across this. There was actually a big panel here that said satellite. And I was like, well, that's cool. And then when I came up on it, it has this like red outline. So I equipped the multi-tool and I was going to try and basically just remove it, but it won't, it won't work. So then when I used my, um, what do they call this again? Chisel. Doesn't really look like a chisel, but whatever. Uh, when I used this, I actually got stuff like circuit boards and batteries. And I was like, well, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. I also got some wires from it as well. Hello, thank you. So much like the, yeah, there you go, wires. So much like the, uh, uh, where am I now, actually? I got turned around. That's probably why I never saw it before. Uh, is it start position or respawn? Let's go with respawn. Um, so yeah, that's my little area over there, and then this is the blood leaf. So it was over to the right in that little crater of where I've been going for hydrogen. Um, and another fun fact is I had mentioned you need 12, um, or yeah, yeah, you need 12 barrels in order to get, um, an even, like you need four oxygen and the remainder hydrogen. And I actually went and, um, mined that area back here, this, this crash site that keeps respawning and it gave me another barrel. So that was interesting. So now I have 12. Um, and I also have 15 points, so we should have plenty to get our fabrication unit thingy. Which costs what? I guess it would be under this panel? Or this one? So, 10 aluminum, 2 plastic, 3 glass, 2 steel. No problem. We got all that, or most of it anyway. Um, was it aluminum it said? Aluminum. Okay, so I need two plastic. Uh, plenty of steel there. Plenty of glass there. And aluminum. Now, we don't have many aluminum ingots, but I do have aluminum to make more. So that's always good. Um, I don't know what all I'm going to end up dumping, but there's definitely going to be... Let's just throw the uh, barrels in this container for now. I'm probably going to end up having to make another one because I'm getting pretty stocked up on a lot of stuff. Um, Alright, so aluminum. Make those. That'll give us 16. And we should have enough then to do the actual fabricator, which is cool. Um, Let's see. I also got 8 points in engineering and 13 in combat. The combat one, I'm not really sure how I got that other than um, the fighting in the last episode. So let's go ahead and start doing this so we can get to... Crap, I didn't need to do that. Well, I do need to eventually because I want to get to the bolt rifle and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but ammo, but I really need to get to the. Oh, wait, I have this. No, I don't. I need more science. Okay. That's actually a little deceptive because of the thumbnail. Because if you don't have it, but it's your next in line, it's got the border, but then it's like blank, but then this thumbnail kind of covers up that hollow spot. So that's not really very clear. All right. So we got more proficiency in, in engineering as well. Uh, do I need my multi-tool for this? I forget how this works. I think I need my multi-tool. Okay. So. Let's go. And eventually I'll have to tear down my cloth walls and actually build, like, a legit thing. Okay. Now, if my memory serves... We can plop this down in the middle. 
Did they add any new uh, snap points? It doesn't look like it. So now I did read somewhere that once you have a fabricator, you can't actually build a second story on top of the habitat because it needs almost like a no man's sky. It needs the um, center point for the ladder. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, okay. Now in truth, I kind of wanted to do this anyway, but now that we found some of this stuff, we have enough circuit boards and we almost have enough wire actually. So that's copper, gold, and rubber, and that makes one. And we need like four more. So basically it's eight copper, eight rubber, and four gold for that. We now have the circuit boards, and then the rest of it's gonna come down to steel, aluminum, gold, and lithium. Um, now the lithium is a bit of a issue, uh, of an issue, because, see, that does not look like oxygen from here, that is straight green. Get it right, game. Now it's blue, but that can be very confusing. Um, okay, that's, I thought that was a rock, that is actually the crash point. Um, so the thing here is really going to come down to lithium and gold, I think, because I have pretty much everything else. I just don't know how much gold I have, and I haven't really found a good source of lithium. Um, I mean, around here we found precious metal deposits and base metals and stuff like that, but the lithium one is a little bit on the more rare side of things. And unfortunately, you kind of need a lot of it for something this large. It's... Well, I had, okay, never mind. I need, I need five ingots, and I've got them right there. Um, but as opposed to um, some things where, uh, you know, it's I happen to have found a bunch of this stuff in my missions or whatever, so I did have enough. Um, but as opposed to building something small like a battery or something that needs a tiny amount, you know, a big factory is going to need more. Uh, copper could be a bottleneck, it looks like. We only have... Five ingots of gold, though I did have more material. Oh, I have more wire. Well, never mind. Okay, so now I basically don't need copper, I don't think. Because that's aluminum, gold, and steel is all we really need. Well, that changes things. Okay. Uh, aluminum. That's iron. Did I? No, there's my aluminum. Okay. So... I probably am going to need to go aluminum hunting. That gives us five... How many do I need? Twenty. So I need more gold. It looks like aluminum. And steel... Yeah, we're going to need more aluminum for that too. Okay, so I'm going to go hunting for a bit and find and see what I can actually end up gathering. And then I will be back and hopefully we can build this lab. Okay, so I managed to get everything we should need, hence why the laboratory is now blue, or whatever. Uh, and I also got quite a bit of engineering points from doing that as well. So what I think we're going to do... I'm tempted to unlock the large crates, um, but we do, we do have small ones for now. We could do stackable habitation, but I'm kind of thinking of going more towards the barracks and the custom industrial pieces. So let's go that route. So that gives us 12. That's 15. That's 20. 25. Good grief. Um, and the bedding is 15, so we can't do that. Uh, that's 15, so we can't do that. What was this? That's 20. What is this? So this is 12, so I think I am going to go with this. And that way it gives us large crates to put inside our... Um, inside our new habitat-based base. Um, now the one thing that I just now thought of is the lab's not going to be done uh, because of the way the construction system works of we're gonna have the lab But then I've got to do what we did with the habitat of like putting in all the walls and stuff um, So I don't think this is just going to be the the end of it kind of thing um, 
I was kind of hoping it would, but it just dawned on me like, oh yeah, you have to do all this other stuff for it. I do feel in a way that's a bit of a crappy way of doing it, just a personal opinion, is that it's like it tells you what you need, but then you need more than that. And it's, it's a little bit... I kind of take it a little bit misleadingly, I think. Um, eh. Can I get up here? No. Well, I kind of did, actually. Uh, let's see if I can get up on... There we go. No, don't jump off. Don't jump. There we go. Alright. Now. Let's say we deal with this guy. Hey, stop hitting my cloth walls. Actually, you know what? Where you go? Hey, seriously, stop. Stop hitting my walls. Wah! I've been playing Shadows of Mordor lately. Or Shadows of War, or whatever. I'm in, like, a melee mode. Okay. Um, so let's... Oh, what are we doing? We don't need to get in here. We need to find a spot for this big laboratory thing. Ooh, that was weird. Like, hung up on me for a second. Um, I kind of want to put it somewhere with a bit of space, just so that we can kind of get the ships in and out relatively easily. But I also don't want to block, um, I also don't want to block my, um, building abilities. Let's put it this way. Sure. Let's do that. It's going down. That's where it's going. Alright. Laboratory is placed, but kind of like I was saying before, now we gotta go in and do all this. Which is a lot. I mean, that's ten... And it doesn't give me any options like the other one before to switch it. So, that's kind of unfortunate. Um... Advanced repair. Oh, that... I still haven't done any of that. So, we need ten for that. Ten for that. Ten for... Jeez, man. There's so many materials this this costs on top of what you already had to use. I mean, I get it. It's a big facility thing. It's not something that should be cheap. It's just like, man, couldn't you have warned me? That's the part I really don't like, is that it's like, hey, you did it. I saved up all this stuff. Oh, by the way, you need a ton more crap now. FYI. Just in case you were wondering. Now, there is something to be said about it's only, what, three and three, so, um, six by three, so it's, uh, 18 copper, and so that's not too terrible, um, and the rest of it's, like, aluminum ingots and, um, oh, is there two of them? I need my, uh, there is two of them. Like I said, I've been playing. I've been playing Shadow of War, or Shadows of War, whatever it's called. Second, second uh, Shadow of Mordor game, and um, the combat in it is really fun. I really like it. So I'm like, I want to fight that way, like ha ha, and do all the counters and dancey things. But the uh, Osiris doesn't have all that. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, so what I might do. Let's just double check math real quick. It should be 60 steel plates and 60 ingots of aluminum by themselves, though you need aluminum for the steel. So we need iron, aluminum, and magnesium to make uh, 60 plates, which is 30 recipes because it gives you two per crafting. Um, and then we need 18... What did I say? 18... Um, 18 copper. I might actually already have that, because I've been acquiring copper while I've been trying to get gold and other stuff. Um, so, and then we would need 60 aluminum, which I've used a lot of, but I, si I think I still have a bunch from the thing. So, maybe we might be able to pull it off. Uh, let me do some inventory checkery. Actually, some of it I still have on me, so that's kind of not needed. Um, oh, there's copper right there. Okay. Uh, 
So yeah, let me do some inventory management type stuff, see what we have to work with. Um, and then we might actually finish off the factory today. Alrighty, so I think I have everything squared away. Uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up was that I played long enough that we have the ability to collect our um, waste collection thing. So that gives you three, and that's what, every 30 minutes? So that's not crazy viable in terms of trying to convert all of this to uh, soil and stuff to get extra science points. Um, I think the gathering and dispersing of um, gases and stuff is probably going to be a better way to do that overall. Um, I mean, sand is free and so is the excrement stuff, but it's just time frame wise, you're only getting three and it takes like one to one or something to do uh, one soil or something, so you're not really making the same amount compared to what you can make with Put that rock there. Um, there we go. That's what was keeping me from walking in and out of the, the thing. Where is he? I hear him. You know what? Screw it. Let's just start building. Oh, there he is. Or they? They. Why is it always groups of two? Huzzah! Alright, go ahead and do your leapy thing. Go ahead. Hey! Not leaping towards my buildings! You crazy... gnat. Why they're called a gnat, I probably will never know. Alright. So I should have everything, if I did my maths right, which is always a fun coin toss. Looks like I did it pretty good. And one more for the road. Ba bam! So now our vehicle options are online. Uh, okay, so we have hover bike. Um, I don't remember. Do we scroll? Oh, we scroll. Okay. So you have the Gav, the Rover. Now, it's giving me the mech option, but I wonder if I, even if I had the materials, I wonder if it would actually let me build it or not, considering that I don't actually have that unlocked. Uh, we can also do an Oompa. Um, a mech crab. Admittedly might end up being the first thing I build, considering how cheap it is by comparison, but the hover bike's a good alternative too, because I probably have, oh, I don't have diamond... I'd have to find diamond, though. Um, aluminum and titanium, we're, we, we can find no problem. I have extra circuit boards. We can make the wires. The plutonium and the lithium I probably have. So the hover bike's a good option, but we'll probably need to find diamond. Um, if I actually assess my parts, though, I might be able to craft this guy. I don't really know. That's a fun little thing. Uh, but anyways, I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. My main priority was trying to get the lab done. And so next episode, I will probably work on trying to acquire some form of vehicle, whether that's the crab mech, whether that's the... Um, how does this work? It's already a full... Okay. Release the action button in the sector highest multiply to heal more. Huh. That is very fast, by the way. And then it's done. That's interesting that I don't really know what the point of that is when you can just walk up to something and hit the F button to just repair it. I'm not really sure. I mean, grant you that the damage could be severe. I suppose. I thought something of this got hurt, so that's why I was trying to heal it. Um, but I don't really think the whole advanced minigame 
thing is really a necessary addition. Um, what's this repair frame one do? Is that just repairs everything? Because that would be nice. I really thought they hit something when they were jumping around, though. Whatever. Uh, so anyways, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode, and hopefully next episode we'll be able to do some kind of vehicle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.